Greetings, males, females, and extraterrestrials. I know it's been a while, quite a while, since I posted any videos on this platform. But, after my last video, I got sick. Wasn't hardly able to eat anything. Couldn't get up and walk down the stairs without having problems breathing and feeling sick. And then, by no choice of my own, I was kind of forced to do some intermittent fasting. I was eating like once a day. Some days I was unable to eat anything. And I was sick and weak from that. Didn't have the energy to do anything. And because we just didn't have enough food to really eat anything and I'd rather eat nothing than just not eat enough because when I don't eat enough I feel sicker than if I just don't eat. I don't eat enough the hunger hormone, ghrelin stays in my system longer or whatever I feel it the hunger more and longer than if I just don't eat so I've lost a good bit of muscle a good bit of weight everything like that uh, so yeah I can't do intermittent fasting I can't eat once twice three times a day I can't just eat like a thousand or two thousand calories a day. Um, so yeah, people that say, oh, you know, whatever. No, I can't do it. I feel sick, weak, nauseous, my body hurts and aches and I can feel my body being catabolic and consuming my muscle for fuel because I don't have enough body fat when I don't eat I don't lose body fat I lose muscle and I gain more fat I gain more body fat when I don't eat so I have too high of a metabolism and not enough body fat but anyway the reason for this post, this video, is to let you all know I'm still alive and I'm going to try and get back into the routine of working out. I'm definitely not going to be as strong as I was starting out. I'm going to have to start slow and work back into a full five to six or seven day routine and start out light like earlier I was doing some uh, reps with the 100 pound dumbbell rack and I can only do like what seven reps in one um, set And then I sat and rested a little bit, a few minutes, five, whatever, I don't know exactly. Then I got up and I did a few more reps and could only really get to like 10 or 11, I think. I don't know. I've not really been counting. I'm just doing as much as I can until I can't lift it up high enough to really do a, get a, a rep. And then I set it down. And then I go back to it, try again. And sorry for the shakiness. Um, but yeah. Finally able to get more food for myself.
protein chips and protein powders and hamburgers and eggs and bacon and sausage and green onions and bell peppers and, you know, all that awesome, great stuff. Strawberries, blueberries, bananas, all that. But, you know, anyway, we're going to try and get back into the routine. So hopefully this Monday, I'll have a video out for you all. Um, I thank you all for sticking with me. I mean, I hadn't posted anything for a month or more, a month and a half. And I'm to be surprised if I still have as many followers as I did. And I appreciate you all for sticking around. And I will try my best to put more content out. It won't be as good, probably, as it was before this break, but... They say, you take a month off every, like, six months or, I don't know, whatever. Renaissance Periodization, Mike Isertel has a video in depth about it. And says that, you know, you'll lose muscle, you'll lose all that muscle and strength over that month. You're not training. But... But when you go back into it and you start working out again, you'll grow exponentially. So we'll see how well I can grow. And that's it for now. I gotta deal with some kids. But I'll uh, see you all, or you all will see me, because I can't see you, in the next one. Have a good one, folks, and enjoy your day.